Hello, this is uh, Advanced Lessons, Take One. Uh, I'd like to give you a brief uh, demonstration on Advanced Lessons in playing piano and uh, how to sight read. Somebody have asked somebody how to sight read, and uh, I will show you that. Very simple. Uh, they got different ways of doing it. This is my way of doing it. I think it's the easiest way. But to begin with, to help you, and coming along, instead of getting a teacher and trying to learn yourself, you can go to Barnes and Noble and pick up a book called Illustrated Piano. As you can see, it costs about twenty-five dollars. The best twenty-five dollars you probably ever will spend. Shows you uh, from playing scales, blues, minor, chromatic, minor, diminish, major, to even how to uh, gives you little samples in between. It shows you how to identify key signatures in this book and how to identify the keys uh, and your fingers, how to number your fingers. Everything that a teacher would show you is in this book, plus some advanced stuff. This will get you where you need to be if you want to learn uh, piano. This book, I recommend, it also teaches you how to care for your piano in that book, what to do and what not to do. This other book, too, you can pick this up at a music store book. It's called The Ultimate Keyboard Chord Book. Has everything from uh, doing inversions to playing uh, stuff that you learn in college, such as C major 13, number 11, how to hit big chords and do it all. And uh, you can do it all with both hands. And you can do it simple inversions. It shows you everything about a chord in here and how to make it from flats to major to college stuff that you learn. This is a very good book. It costs about $12, $13. Two best books you ever probably will buy. Okay, next step I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you from the Lion King from Elton John how to sight read, uh, identify the scales that you played in. Uh, this would be a uh, this would be a B flat E uh, uh, E flat. So identify you can identify what, what kind of scale you're in. It's played as a pop ballad. Uh, the way I sight read is to break everything down at the top. I'm reading the top up here because this tells you what you're going to play in the left hand. I'll give you an example. This is the F in the bass clef. You play an A. You always play the second note pass when you read something like this. You play the because it tells you what's in the key of B flat, a D you play. So to begin with, you make an A. So when you come to something like this, you, you'd play E flat, bass clef, you come up here and I, I play, this is how I sight read, because everything in your fake book is composed at the top, what plays at the, uh, the bass clef, and what you play in the treble clef, in the voice chords. So this is just a simplified version of all this reading at the bottom, and all this at the bottom. Now sometimes it gets a little harder than that, but I'll stay there for another lesson since I'm running out of time. So you play E flat and the bass clef, and then you play a treble clef. I number all my chords, if you notice. G, A, B, C, just like I do in a, uh, in a, a treble clef, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help speed things up. You will get to know, you will have time to concentrate without thinking about the chord and where it's at and how to play higher or lower. It will help you to advance real qu quicker, faster, and better. So to begin with, I'm going to show you this. So I play a G, A, B, B flat, C, and uh, it's tied, as you can see. You play a C, then you play a B flat. And when you get to something that's tied, I'm going to play this D with this B flat and F. So it's going to give you a sound such as this. I'll do it again. That sounds like a real substitute of doing all of this. This just makes it feel more full. This is a simplified version. Basic stuff that I'm teaching you will help you. And you can play any kind of song there it is. The next lesson I'll show you uh, how to advance more quicker by you wouldn't have all this. And you say you just got the, some music just got the, the treble clef and the bass clef with no chords at the top. So you can simplify and make chords at the bottom and think about what sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. Such as, you know, the, you, know uh, you might have chords like G, E, sound E twice or something. You'd have to, you'd have to figure it out. And I can make a chord out the bottom. That's real advanced. That'll get to you some uh, some other time. But uh, I'll teach you everything you need to know. Like I said in that book.